you remember I said that Eddie Sands had told me <coughs> that I could uh, put some color like black into uh, KY lubricant and then I could wipe it off very quickly. Well, I ran into one film where I used another theory of mine. And the idea was, well, if I could figure out a way of putting on a painted makeup, say an aging makeup with highlights and shadows, if I could put that on the actor, and then if I could put a coat of something totally water-soluble, a flesh tone, over that, hide it all underneath an opaque flesh color, that person would look young again. And if I could then, uh, on cue, you know, take a big sponge and wipe it all off in 30 seconds and dry the face and have show all those aging uh, highlights and shadows, uh, that would be a great quick change. Well, that's fine. But of course the thing is, in television or in film, highlights and shadows are very, very limited. They, that's stage makeup. And to just paint shadows and paint highlights does not produce a three-dimensional effect, unless you're 10 feet away. So, um, so I never, and, and the other thing was technically, I could not find an opaque makeup which wouldn't somehow stain or remain, some of it would remain on the grease paint that I had underneath. Uh, some of the flesh color would tone down the highlights, so the highlights would disappear. I'd only have shadows revealed. So I never had an occasion to use it that way, but in Blythe Spirits, the old play about uh, um, a man who's ma who has been married to a, a woman who has been killed in an accident, and his second wife uh, later on is also killed in an accident, and they both come back to haunt him. Well, when the second wife, the second wife obviously had to have look human when she's alive, and then she has to have this ghostly whitish makeup when she dies, and it's a quick change. She goes out, you hear a crash, an automobile, and she comes back in cursing her husband or something like that. So I painted on like a, a, a grease paint, like a clown white or a gray color, and set that with powder and so forth. And that becomes basically waterproof. So, uh, and I powdered her lipstick also, so that would not come off. And maybe some eye makeup or eyeliner. And then I took a, a liquid makeup, a tan liquid makeup, and I carefully patted that over the whole thing and made her look uh, alive. And that much would separate. And so I could do that quick change. She had to change into a white diaphanous dress, and I had to quickly wipe off this, uh, this tan makeup. And uh, then she was all in this clown, this, this, this uh, ghost makeup. And that worked, that worked. Mm. But that was the only, only time I was able to use that theory to, in practice.